The grooved surface of the tire is called, tread. Tread provides the traction for starting, stopping and gripping the road. Tread helps prevent skids and hydroplaning. The amount of tread touching the road increases the gripping power of traction. Tire size also affects the amount of tread and traction on the road. The portion of the tire's tread that touches the road surface is called, contact patch, or, footprint. These small footprints are all you have for traction on the road surface. When tires roll over the surface of the road, they create traction. Traction makes your vehicle grip the road so you can control speed and direction. Traction is the amount of grip between the tire tread and the road surface. The traction of the tires on the roadway pushes your vehicle forward. Traction between the tires and road will slow your vehicle, and also enables your vehicle to turn left or right when the front wheels turn. Traction between the tires and the road does not remain constant, as speed increases traction decreases. With decreased traction, the possibility of skidding or sliding increases. Tire traction force, or tractive force, is the force used to generate motion between a car and the road. Contact point of rolling tire is instantaneously at rest with respect to roadway. Rolling wheels have much more traction than locked wheels. Maximum braking traction occurs when tire slip is between 10% and 20%. A rotating tire has 0% slip and a locked up wheel has 100% slip. Wheel locking is occurred when the wheel has no rotational speed, but still displace either longitudinally or laterally. Contact point of locked tire is skiing on road at full velocity of the vehicle. Wheel lock up during braking causes skidding, which in turn cause a loss of traction and vehicle control, this reduces the steering ability to change direction. So the car slides out of control. The consequences of wheels locking are, longer stopping distance, no lateral guidance, abnormal tire wear, and increased risk of accident. Tire slip is the difference between vehicle speed, and the speed of the tire tread moving along the pavement. Slip rate of 50% means, the wheel is rolling 50% slower than freely rolling tire. Reducing wheel slip improves vehicle stability and control during braking, since stability increases as wheel slip decreases. Without ABS when brakes are applied with enough force to lock the wheels, the vehicle slides uncontrollably because there is no traction between the tires and the road surface. While the wheels are skidding, steering control is lost as well. Brakes without ABS can still be used just like normal, with all of the regular stopping functions included. Without ABS skillful drivers practice driving technique, where the driver pumps the brake pedals. This lets the driver steer the car while braking on a slippery surface. Anti-lock braking system, ABS is a vehicle safety system, 
that allows the wheels to maintain tractive contact with the road surface according to driver inputs while braking. The ABS prevents wheel lockup and hence skidding, by automatically modulating the brake pressure during an emergency stop, via electromechanical control system. The anti-lock braking systems, prevent the wheels from locking up, avoid uncontrolled skidding, enable safe braking, maintain steerability, and decrease stopping distance. The ABS unit is combined with the conventional braking system and located between the master cylinder and the wheel brakes. Anti-lock braking systems use different schemes depending on the type of brakes in use, that is, the number of channels. A channel describes a brake hydraulic line, that is capable of being controlled by the ABS. Anti-lock braking systems can be classified based on the number of channels and number of sensors employed, 1 channel 2 wheel system, 2 channel 2 wheel system, 3 channel 4 wheel system, and 4 channel 4 wheel system. The one channel two wheel system is the simplest system that has one circuit that controls hydraulic pressure to both rear wheels. This system uses one speed sensor that is bolted to the axle housing. A two channel two wheel system has a wheel speed sensor and hydraulic circuit dedicated to each rear brake circuit. The three channel four wheel system found on many light trucks uses three wheel speed sensors, one for each of the front wheels and a single sensor for the rears. The rear brakes also share a hydraulic control circuit for both sides. The most efficient ABS brake system is the 4-channel four 4 wheel system. This system has a speed sensor and hydraulic circuit dedicated to each wheel. Anti-lock braking systems can be classified based on the components assembled to integral ABS system and non-integral ABS system. Integral ABS unit combines the function of the master cylinder, brake booster, and anti-lock braking system in one assembly. An integral ABS unit are even more complex than standard ABS. Integral ABS units do not use an external boost source instead relying on an internal electric pump and accumulator to generate and store hydraulic pressure. The consequences of wheels locking are, longer stopping distance, no lateral guidance, abnormal tire wear, and increased risk of accident. Non-integral ABS units are also known as add-on ABS units, and are the most common type of ABS system because of their lower cost and simplicity. In non-integral ABS system, the power booster, master cylinder, and hydraulic modulator are all separate units. This can be a plus when a component is faulty, only the component in question must be replaced. Basic components that are common to all anti-lock brake systems include, wheel speed sensors, ABS electronic control unit, ABS hydraulic modulator, and ABS warning lamp. When there is an issue with an anti-lock brake system ABS, there will typically be either a red or yellow warning light on the instrument cluster, to alert the driver that there is a problem within the system. There are several problems that can cause the warning light to come on, such as abnormal signals from wheel sensors, defective control unit, or a blown fuse. ABS warning lamp turns on during engine cranking, an ABS self-check at startup to verify operation.